Okay, so I haven't done a reloading video for quite some time, and uh, I came out. I was going to clean up the shop, but I wanted to load up some 44 mag first. And I got my secondhand Pro 1000. Getting these things tuned in is kind of like juggling cats. It can be done, but it's a lot of work. Um, but I do have it tuned in now. Uh, I'd make a couple modifications. The first thing I had to do is this center stud. This is threaded and the shell plate threads onto it. And there just was not enough clearance there. That thing was bound up tighter than you could imagine. There's no way the thing could rotate, especially with plastic gears. So I uh, made a little modification, gave it a few thousandths gap, and it's working now. Um, I also added the, the uh, updated powder measure. And I just got a little thing here that it's on, and it's it's not doing very well. It's probably going to fall off at some point, but I'll go until it does. I need a different screw for that. Um, I'm also missing the little... There's a little pin that comes out that ejects your shells. That fell out, and it's down inside the press, and I'm not going to try and take it out until I'm done. So I'll just run a few and show you. So because I'm missing that little ejector, it doesn't automatically shove the shells out. I'm just pulling them off. Um, this is an older press, but it's all newer stuff that I added to it. So it's got a new shell plate. I'm working with a brand new set of dies. Um, the case feeder is came with it but I had to buy the tubes it's got new priming shoots and and stuff so it's working pretty good um, better than I I thought it was going to I didn't really have high hopes for it but um, it's working okay now this shell here is wobbling a little bit because of that loose chain back there The only real problem that I've had with the press so far is not uh, not the press's fault, other than that shell holder was too tight, which I fixed right away. Um, every once in a while I don't fully see the primer, and that causes issues. Um, well, this is the other thing. Every now and then, the uh, the case feeder will bugger up a shell but that's not the end of the world keep an eye on that also keep an eye on this check and make sure there's a primer in each one every once in a while I miss one and uh, I've been pulling those out Now I got it all messed up. Just give me a second here. Figure out what I've messed up. Now, if you put this kind of in the center, kind of in a neutral position, you can index the, the shell plate, which is exactly what I'm doing right now. So what I did there is I forgot to rotate the thing and load the next, next batch of shells. Make sure I've got powder in that one. Primer, bullet, there we go, 
Back in business. So as you can see, it's running half decent. I've still got a few little things to fix. I got to deal with this because what I did is I wasn't sure where to hook this. And I think this is an older press. I know that for sure. It doesn't have the primer cut off. And this is a little loose. I got to fix that because this little retaining spring is falling out of place. So I'm just going to call it for now. Anyway, you get the idea. Uh, I'll do another video when when I get everything else fixed, the little doodads. I'm going to add a bullet feeder on it. And I'm probably only going to use this for 9mm, which I don't even own. A buddy of mine has 9mm we go shooting sometime. And 44s. I'm not going to try and do much else with it. So thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.